all right, right just a quick video uh, hopefully today I'm gonna to change this pump from the old header tank one that you can probably hear running it annoys the life out of me at night I can hear it kicking in I've tried putting some sound dampening in there but it's just not working at all you can still hear it so the header tank with a little pump there uh, that's going to get removed and swap to my new one uh, I'll film it in little stages hopefully I've got all the bits uh, it replaces that elbow coming out there where the pump goes and then you have to cut down this is a swift 580 and this down pipe in aluminium just needs cutting down to about there and that is the only modification, as far as I'm aware, that we need to do apart from the wiring. So, first things first, I'm going to drain it down, uh, which is the bung under the wheel on the 580 on the uh, driver's side. And I'm going to catch it because it's pr pretty much brand new and only about three months old. So, uh, I'm going to catch it and then filter it and put it back in. Okie dokie, I'll see you in a bit. Sod's low, my motor move is right in the way, but um, as you can see, it's the, the plug that comes down, and that's right next to the wheel on the driver's side. So I've clamped it and sent the bung off, and then hopefully, I managed to get it down some hose and into uh, a couple of spare containers. There should be 10 litres in there, so I've got 10 litres worth, but we shall see. She came off quite easy. Uh, and it didn't come out uh, under the pressure that I thought it would, so it's quite dry, all things considered. Just got a little larger diameter pipe just for it to push down into. And hopefully, um, I'll just nip it and swap it into the other uh, thing when I've done. Draining the system down without sort of, with trying to take all the water out, you don't get it all out because both of these pipes your outgoing is higher and your incoming is higher. You've got this low area, which obviously will have a body of water in it where the heater is, uh, that you can't actually drain out. So I've got to a point where I know if I take off them clamps at the bottom, uh, I'm gonna have water everywhere. So my plan is I've got a small submersible that's going into another container. Uh, I've taken out the carpets and I've put in towels down and everything around it uh, and then I'm hopefully going to slowly drain it into a Tupperware tub and then uh, pump it out into this uh, container here. Right, it's working well-ish, uh, I've cracked that top one and as the water's coming out it's getting sucked straight up and going into my uh, spare tub. It's not much at the moment but I wouldn't want it on the caravan floor that is for sure. No, it's not fully off, it's getting a bit heavier. It's just coming out nice and slowly. I did have a problem with the bleed screw on the far side and the fact that it were actually the water was coming out of the bleed screw uh, because obviously this was higher. Um, so anyway, it's, got, it's going, it's going slowly, but I'd rather have it slowly in, in a bucket than fast and in my floor. Yeah, it's coming out at some pace now. I'm glad that I put this little pump in rather than an amp pump. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. So it's slowly coming out. I can hear it gurgling, so obviously the, I could probably open that uh, bleed valve in a bit, but again. That would have been on my caravan floor if not. And it's still coming out slowly, so that's great. Also, just a quick one, if people are you're fighting with these, obviously nobody's going to have the proper tools, um, unless you're a proper plumber. Uh, a pair of mole grips, you can do it with one hand, uh, job done, and it actually locks it for you, so you can put it wherever you want then. So I know this one needs to go on to uh, the bottom of the pump, so I'll leave that on there for now. And fit it up. That's uh, absolutely no water coming out anymore. So I'm more than happy to take my towels away while I fit the pump. And then I'm going to take off 
I can see it a bit better. This pipe coming down, which is the first radiator pipe on the right hand side, um, to be cut down. Um, I don't know yet until I sort of line it up with this new S, this new S piece, how far I'm going to cut it, but we shall see in five minutes. Right, so I've got my pump mounted. There's a little slot. Um, let's see, there's a little slot at the very bottom of it uh, that goes in. You just see that L-shaped bracket? That L-shaped bracket at the bottom of it drops into a slot and then there's a little screw. It didn't come with a screw, uh, but I'll just find one, just a self-tapping thing. Obviously not too long, so I don't hit anything inside. Uh, but now the pump's attached with this uh, Jubilee clip. That gives me now my exact sort of length to cut out. Now I'm assuming each caravan that they fit to will have a different kind of pipe coming in. Because uh, the one I read said that you only cut off about 50 mil. Uh, but mine's nearly halfway up, probably behind this red outlet pipe here. So I'm going to mark it, see where my thumbnail is, uh, so that I've got at least a good two inches of aluminium pipe inside the rubber pipe just to give it a, a, a lot to bite onto and um, it's a bit hard to see from up here but in fact that's see the rubber pipe there a mark it where it is make sure it's not sort of kinked or anything it's nicely sort of back to its original sort of shape from factory and then i'll chop her down with a pipe cutter so we'll mark that So I'll mark where the pipe needs to get to. Oops, they're not lining up. I'm marking where the pipe needs to go to, just so when I'm sliding it over, I'm not guessing how much pipe's in. So I'm gonna put a dotted line with a sharpie, just to show where it is. And then obviously I'm gonna cut it two inches or so behind that. So that's my cut line there. Right. In fact, I'll try this with one hand, it's quite hard to film in. Well, I don't know if it'll get in. No, I'm going to have to do it with two. I'm just basically, all I'm going to do is take off that Jubilee clip, undo it, take it all out, and cut it with a pipe cutter. But I'll show you how to do that anyway because it's really easy to do. So, this is the pipe removed. Um, and basically I'm going to use one of these, it's adjustable pipe cutter and basically you just stick it over the top, screw it down and wheel it round. Right, yeah, came off nice, uh, took a bit more than a normal sort of copper pipe but I think it's because the, the wall's a bit thick, it's about 2 mil on this uh, and all I've done is cleaned it up with this emery pad stuff uh, and blown out all the stuff inside it. So right, she's ready to go back on, again. I don't think I'll be able to do it with one hand, but straight forward, back back to where it came from, and off, hopefully back onto the bottom of the pump. Right, after a fight, a quick tip, um, if I do it again, I'd say put this pipe on first, the rest bend, uh, before you fit that one, so then you can pull it out your way, complete it to get this clamp on, because it's right in where all this pipe work here, but, uh, and then and then attach it to your pump after, but it's gone on a bit of fight and hopefully this will go back on now Again, it's already with one hand But you get the general gist uh, So Pretty much all back together. I'll put that one back on and then I'll look about wiring it up um, Again, I'm following somebody else's instructions but if I can so the picture says a thousand words. If I can show you a video, that'd be great. Right, so I've had a quick look at the electrics. This cover lifts up and I've already removed a couple of pins that were in here because uh, they're in my way for fitting the pump. And then there's three T10 screws. There's one at this very top that I've already taken out and two on this end here. And then this whole thing lifts out and gives you access to the PCB. And then you run your cables through this grommet that's already there. Again, 
it's more difficult with one hand but it does fit now the plug that it goes into is this very bottom square one it does actually say pump on it now the actual plugs are shaped on the end there's a slight square bit and a sort of an arch top to one so I don't think you can put it in the wrong way, but just be very careful. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's a hook on the bottom that the clip was on. So the, the clip goes that way up as you're looking at it. The clip was onto the bottom. Now, why there's two, I've no idea. Right, so she's plugged in. But to be quite honest, I don't think it'll hurt because it's only piggybacked out of this one anyway. I don't think it'd even hurt to put both of them in. I don't think it makes any odds. In fact, no, you only put one in because the other one won't fit in at the same time. So, that's where she plugs in. I'll put this back together. I'll neaten cables up a little bit. And hopefully, oh, in fact, there is some settings that you have to turn on on the control uh, and basically it's to tell it that you've got another pump um, so I'll have to look at that first and then come back to you right as I've been tidying the cables up um, I had a quick look at this little adapter and to be quite honest it's got the exact same connection on the end uh, basically that's it's just an extension lead so whether it's because it might go a bit further away I doubt it but Anyway, it goes directly, this one goes directly into it, and it's better because there's less cables floating around. They're not going anywhere what's going to be too hot or anything, so uh, I've no idea why that long. And they're actually a thicker gauge um, going into a thinner one on this extension, so I've no idea why they're doing that. But anyway, I've done that, I've made it shorter, I'm going to put it back together, and we'll take it from there. So everything's back together, I've double checked my wires, I've put all the drain pipes back in that obviously are in your way uh double checked everything and put it all back together i've put my bung pipe back in uh, the drain thing and then just to show you this right one is the one that i took out from the pump with a little sump pump so that would have been all on my caravan floor and the left one is what came out of the actual outside drain hole so it just shows you uh, it's definitely worth setting up a little system just to just to drain it otherwise it's going to go everywhere uh, and then now i'm going to remove the old pump which again is just a little clip and i'll probably leave this insulation stuff i put on because you never know it might stop it from gurgling uh, and then i'm going to pour it back in i'm going to pour it through a gauze like a fine net just to catch any bits if any bits are in it i doubt it but it's worth doing and then i'm going to have a look at actually the program inside right so i've topped it back up and i've gone around and bled it just with the header tanks actual gravity and it's gone pretty much down to max anyway uh, so this shows how little i've spilt hopefully and now one thing you will have to do is there is a, a blanking plate for this and basically it's just a rubber bung that goes in that hole so all i've got is a sheet of rubber just going to cut a hole out that's me bung and then uh, i did have a quick look at this and i tried going uh, let me see if i can turn the light off I'm sure it's dark. That's better. right now i came to it and i went to the settings and i went down I see that little round one there, I clicked on that, and that emblem wasn't there. There was no way of changing it. So I went back out, went down to install accessories, and see how there's an optional pump. That was highlighted, which obviously then changed it. And I can hear because the little ones just stopped. Uh, so I changed that one, took that one off, went back out, went back out of that, went back to where that pump was, and that 
as the, the emblem had changed from the header tank to whatever that one is. So, uh, come back out of that, and I know it's working because actually, as I did that, I heard this pump fire up. But when I say I heard it, it's just a hum, and I'm going to sleep like a baby compared to that great big bloody thing. Now, one thing you do do on the very end, that little blue dial, you turn it up to five uh, to bleed the system. Uh, get your water running nice and hot, and then turn it up to full whack, let it run round, and then that should push your air bubbles, hopefully to your high spots, and obviously your drain plugs, uh, your bleed point, sorry. So that's my next thing, and that should be everything done. So again, it's thanks to Steve on Caravan Talk. Uh, he gave me the heads up and I've just followed his instructions. And to be quite honest, it's took me longer filming it than if I'd have just done it uh, without stopping and thinking about what I'm doing to tell people. So I hope it helps somebody. Uh, cheers.